Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Christina speaking. Today is October 10, 2021. And I hope everybody is doing well. And so I have a message from our Lord Jesus Christ. But before I share the message, I want to confess with my mouth that I truly believe our Lord Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God. He is our God and Savior who has come in the flesh on earth, crucified and died on the cross for our sins. Hallelujah. Amen. Revelation 22 verse 13, Jesus says, I am Alpha and Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the first and the rest. Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. The question for you today, are you saved? Have you given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? If you have not yet given your life to him, please turn to the Lord, humble yourself before him, and repent all your sins before it's too late. Amen. And so today, I have a message for the Bride of Christ and a message for all believers. I am going to share with you a dream that I had on October 2nd, 2021, just a week ago. In this dream, uh, I was taken to a place in a village where I found myself inside of uh, a large fence. And this fence was made with solid wood. It had a large gate that was made with metal. Inside there was a beautiful, small, simple house. This uh, house was made with wood and her roof was made with herbs. And uh, the house seemed ready the door was closed. The house was surrounded by this large and solid fence. Everything was very clean. The house was clean, white like snow. This very simple house was uh, isolated alone. I did not see any neighbor around except the mountains. And so I was uh, standing there observing everything and trying to understand why I was there and the meaning of the house. And suddenly uh, I heard a small voice saying this I am coming to this house because the house is ready to receive me now and the dream ended I woke up but I knew that the voice that I heard was the Lord's voice because I know his voice. I went into prayer seeking the Lord's confirmation and the meaning of the dream and the Lord told me that the house that I saw, the small house that seemed ready very clean, white, like snow, represents the bride of Christ these last days, brothers and sisters. The bride of Christ has made herself ready and the Lord is coming for his bride any moment. Now, the large fence 
that I saw surrounding the house represents the army of God that is protecting the bride of Christ. The bride of Christ is very uh, protected. She is protected by the Lord himself and also by the angels of God. And so uh, um, the Lord gave me uh, three uh, scriptures to uh, confirm the dream. He gave me Luke 12, verse 35 to 38. Please keep your eyes burning because the Lord is coming for his bride. He also gave me uh, Luke 21, verse 34 to uh, 36. Please watch and pray and keep your house in order. Also, uh, the Lord um, has a warning for his bride and also for all believers. The message is in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 18. This is for the bride of Christ and also for all believers. Please put the arm of God every day and be very vigilant because the devil is watching you. The devil hates you. The devil wants to destroy you. You must uh, put the arm of God every day. And please read Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. We do not fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness. Satan knows that his time is out and he's doing everything to destroy believers and the bride of Christ. And so, brothers and sisters, you must pray as ever before. You must pray first and seek the Lord like you have never done before because the devil hates you. He is looking to steal everything you have done and to destroy you. Remember, Satan has come to lie, to steal, and to destroy. And so you must protect yourself. And so, um, also, the Lord gave me another message. The Lord said this, Many are honoring me with their lips, and but their heart is far away from me. 
when he said that he gave me Mark chapter 7 verse actually he gave me Mark chapter 7 but please pay attention to verse 6 20 and 21 and please examine your heart when you say things do what you said so uh, you must be serious with the Lord there is a very very uh, important message in Mark chapter 7 the Lord also gave me Isaiah 42 verse 18 to 25 this is about uh, keeping God's commandment they are ten commandments and you must keep them brothers and sisters and also the Lord gave me a uh, psalm 15 psalm 15 it shows who we are into the kingdom of God and please lead it and examine your heart and see if you meet those criteria in Psalm 15 and seek the Lord also the Lord gave me two more uh, interesting scriptures he gave me uh, Deuteronomy 31 but when I read uh, this scripture it talks about Moses who was 120 years old and God was about to take him I could see in this scripture the time frame which represents the time we are in now I believe uh, we are at the end the rapture can take place any day now also uh, the Lord gave me a uh, revelation chapter 7 and this is the second time uh, uh, he gives me uh, this scripture I understand that uh, there is a work being done in sealing God's people uh, God's people are being marked but when I asked the Lord if uh, the work of sealing people is done or is uh, still going on the Lord did not answer my question and so please take these scriptures to the Holy Spirit for confirmation and uh, revelations but uh, Revelation 7 is the picture of the rapture I believe uh, I believe 
There is no time left. We are living day by day. Any moment now, the bride will be removed. Also, uh, coming back to uh, the dream, the Lord told me that this small house that I saw has another significant meaning. I'm not going into details, but uh, uh, there is a small group of people, the Bride of Christ and her company, that will be removed. I call it the fast fruits voucher. So seek the Lord, take everything to the Holy Spirit and pray. So uh, I hope brothers and sisters, you watch and pray and keep your house in order. This message for the Bride of Christ is not uh, is not to uh, call you to stop doing what you are doing. You must keep doing what you are doing until the end. Do good for your brothers and sisters, even for your enemy. Pray for one another and uh, love one another, including your enemy. Forgive those who persecute you. The Lord is coming. And so please share this video to our brothers and sisters. God bless you.